Hello, I'm Kimberly from the McClay Branch Library and today I'm going to show you how to make a silhouette shadow box. First, we're going to collect your supplies. You're going to need three sheets of cardstock, a 4 by 6 frame, an X-Acto knife, fairy lights. You're going to want to make sure that you have the wire kind. If you use uh, the, the kind that's fatter, they're not going to fit in the frame. And then uh, you're going to need some type of glue or um, a glue stick. This is optional if you want to glue your layers together before putting them in the frame. So without further ado, let's begin. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to print off the handout that is um, linked on the library calendar. You can print it off for free. Um, and then you're going to want to print off pages 10 to 12, the templates, onto your cardstock so that you have all your images um, on a thicker paper. You don't want to print it on a regular paper because it's too thin, unfortunately. But yeah, so first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut around all your images. You're going to cut them out. You could do this either with your X-Acto knife or you could do this with scissors. I prefer an X-Acto knife just because I know you get straighter lines. You're always going to want to cut towards you. Uh, you don't want to cut away or to the side. Um, you have more control and it's safer if you cut towards yourself. Always turn your image so that you can do that. Once you've cut out all your images, so look like this, you'll have your your backing card, your two frames, and then your three images. Six. There we go. I recommend when you cut out your images, you first start with the frame pieces. Um, uh, they're easier to cut out um, just because they're straight lines. So once you do, they'll look like that. And then I recommend work doing the cave piece next because it doesn't have any of uh, it doesn't have the wizard and it doesn't have the dragon which are a little bit more complicated so I cut this piece out next and then go ahead and cut out your wizard and save the dragon for last. I like to start either on one of the sides just because it's a straight line so I'll go ahead and start over here first always cutting towards myself and turning as I go. Don't be afraid to cut into this center part. Um, this gets cut away. It's not part of the final product. Uh, just make sure when you cut, you be careful when cutting into the border. You don't wanna accidentally mess up any of that because that's part of your design, part of the image. So go ahead and cut into it. Don't be afraid to do that. Um, I like to do all the pieces that are like angled towards me and then turn it and cut all the other ones. Once you have all your images cut out, put your trash to the side. Six little things, two frames, a backing card, and your three images. Um, this is where the glue comes in if you want. You can um, put a little bit of glue or glue stick onto the frame um, and then glue it to the, the first image and then glue your um, piece on top and then glue the next frame on top and then glue the dragon if you want your your artwork to be together permanently and you don't want them to wobble I guess um, I'm not gonna do that I don't mind that they're not permanently attached this way if I ever to decide to add anything to the image make more layers I can 
So let's go ahead and grab our frames. Take the backing card off, set that aside. Um, you're gonna wanna place the image in. Um, you're gonna want the ink side towards you so that any pieces that you might have um, missed don't show to the final product. You want your white side to be the side that faces the glass. So go ahead and put that down and in there. Get all those in. Go ahead, and go ahead and put your backing card right on top. And then we're going to go ahead and put the fairy lights in. Go ahead and put your batteries in. Check that they work. <laughs> You're going to want to start at the top of the image and end with the wire coming out of the bottom of the cave. Um, that way, when you display it, you don't have to worry, worry about any wires that poke through uh the top because it'll be hidden back behind behind the frame they're coming out at the bottom or the corner now we're gonna put the thing piece the back of the frame in. Put it in place and flip it over and there we go. Just like that. Turn it on. But yeah, thank you for crafting with me today and have a wonderful day.